for the record, gloves, eye protection, long pants and shirt. Just, you know, safety first. Morning. Welcome back. It's Monday after Thanksgiving here and uh, we're gonna have a good week. We're gonna get a lot of stuff done. First item of business, tear and park this corn head. So we've got a lot of stuff to take off. All the gathering chains, guides, deck plates, all that stuff. Clean it all up. Uh, make sure everything's working. Put it back on. Get it adjusted right. And uh, then we'll get this out of here. Hopefully this week yet. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is get some more plywood and uh, I don't have any more saw horses. Dad has got them all tied up. So we're gonna just get some, uh, there's some blocks or some five gallon buckets or something and set up another set of plywood for us to put all of our parts on. Try and keep them organized. That's important. Try though. Okay, so we're gonna try and take one of these apart. The first thing we need to do is break this nut here loose. Let's see if I can get a wrench on it even. Not real easily. Okay. And once that's loose, then we can spin this bolt, hopefully, with this. Yeah. Might have to hold this nut with the wrench while I do it, which will require two hands, but I'll try and show you. But what that does is back this bolt out of this nut and loosens this spring essentially. Oops, wrong way. There. Okay. So now we'll take our pieces. We're just going to set them off to the side for right now. We'll organize this in a second. But that loosens up this chain. You can see that this arm here is attached. It's not gonna slide. Very good. That's why we're cleaning it, because it doesn't move. But anyway, this arm is this one here that's attached to the sprocket, and it slides forward and back to tighten that spring. So, all right, next thing we're gonna do is take these two bolts out. Okay, then this comes off. Dirty. Now you can see that arm and how that is supposed to slide. So we can take this off. Now our chain will come off. Set this down here. There, that's a little better. Now we're gonna take this off. Okay. And then this is our deck plate. This has got these uh, attached to this arm. This arm is attached to this rod. This rod moves back and forth and it pivots and then that's what slides them to open and close the spacing in between here. And you open and close that to kind of match the width of the uh, stalk so that it pinches the ears off, but they're not too wide. That's what causes the butt shelling or uh, uh, if it's too tight, you'll get too much trash and stuff going into the combine. So kind of looking at these for wear, there is quite an edge in one couple of spots here, but I don't think they're too bad. And then here's our Snap and rolls. Those look pretty good. They should be good because, well, they're not very old. These are an aftermarket snapping roll. They're uh, made by uh, Heald 360. They're 360 chain rolls. Um, like I said, they're not real old. We've only run them for two years here, but really like the job that they do. So, anyway, take this off. That's what we got to do. 16, 15 more times, two on each row. Okay, well, there's, there's the rest of this row. 
Um, yeah, got a little more cleaning to do, as you can see there. Uh, another thing to note, I try really hard when I do this to keep everything in order. Uh, I know that all of the parts are the same on each of these rows. You know, the, the same part is the same part across all of them. But I like to put everything back where I got it, where it came off of. And so I tried to try to keep them all in some semblance of an order. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, that's what we're going to do. Barack should be here pretty soon, I think, within the next half hour or so. So I'll have him help me with this. And we'll get it all tore apart here this morning. And, yeah, should go, should go all right. Well, there's half. Got a pile of parts. I'm gonna go move my time-lapse camera and then we'll do the other side. Okay, it's all apart. Nicely, neat, and organized. That was the easy part, but it's done. So, now, uh, we really need to clean this up a little bit more. Whether we just take a wire brush and scratch the stuff off, or it's snowing and really crappy out today, so not gonna power wash outside. Um, but we also need to clean up all of these parts, which means wire wheel and bolts off to get all the dirt and rust out of the threads. Um, uh, at least the bottom side of these has to be cleaned up so that where it slides so we can lube that up good. I don't know if I want to take them um, bolts out with the sprockets and the bearings or not. These got to get cleaned up, all of it. So that's, that's what the rest of today looks like. Okay, Brock's working on cleaning this stuff up here. Got some bolts done, getting these done, using the wire wheel. I'm going to take our angle grinder with the, um, oh, you know, needle shot wheel there that just basically injects your clothes full of needles. And uh, we're gonna wire wheel off all of these deck plates, get the bottom sides cleaned up, and uh, yeah, do that. Well, I had to switch grinders. Both of my DeWalt's dead. Get out the Milwaukee. Okay, well these are cleaning up pretty good here. I um, was just sort of trying to look at them and see. On this one you can tell there's a like a hard surface bead weld here on this edge, but most of it is gone. And I don't really see it on some of these other ones. There is definitely a fair amount of wear on these. Uh, you can see right here is where that chain runs and it's got a groove over there. Up here is where that tensioner arm sits. It's definitely got an indent and a groove there. Um, but the, the, the wear edge, where the uh, corn stalks run in between these here, um, they're pretty straight. There's a little bit of a gap there, or you know, but it's, for the most part, I'm not too terribly concerned with the amount of wear on these, so. I don't know. If you guys use these and you think I'm crazy and that these are completely worn out, let me know. But they just don't look unusable to me. The only thing that would really give me some concern is if this indent up here got so deep that that piece would not slide on it very good. Uh, that that arm with the sprocket on it, if it, you know, if it got an edge or something that it was catching, because that needs to be able to move freely to keep the chain tight. So. I don't know, I'm gonna clean them up and uh, we're gonna run them.
There. All clean. And I'm dirty. That's what happens. Better. All right, so now that that's done, we've got these uh, sprockets on this tensioner arm here, or whatever you want to call it. I want to take it apart, see what it looks like. I think it'll do it without killing me here. So there's a nut, then there's a cap. A little bit of dirt in there. A sprocket with an actual bearing in it. Those are all good. A little more dirt. Another one of them. And the bolt. Now, I was just gonna wire wheel these off and put them back together. Brock over here though says we gotta take it apart and paint it. And if we're gonna paint it, we gotta take it all apart. So, yeah, we're gonna take them apart and clean them up and paint them. Cause we overdo everything around here. Well, at least Brock's got something to do for a while here. Cleaning up parts. We'll have to, I don't know. These plastic ones, can't wire wheel those. We'll have to, I don't know, maybe get a bucket with some soapy water, try and clean them up a little bit, or maybe just flake it off as best we can. Um, yeah, these are all clean, they just need dusted. That, what are we gonna do with that? I'll have to figure that out. Whether we're gonna wash, get the hose, wire wheel. I don't really know yet. We'll do something, get that cleaned up. Okay, well, it's after lunch here. We're still just working on cleaning stuff up, making it through this whole pile here. And uh, we got these cleaned up a little bit with the brush wire wheel. And I uh, just went through with an air gun. I'm gonna go through and pick out the kernels. Just get this dirt loose from around these uh, plugs here. There's a gearbox there that's got oil in it. We need to take these plugs out and check that oil level, but I wanna clean out some of this stuff as much as I can, pick out the dirt so that we aren't getting dirt inside there when we do it. Okay, now I've got them all cleaned out, so let's pull the plug and check the oil level. And that one looks good. Bad idea to start this with a impact. Hey, seven more. All right, well, we've got this stuff all cleaned up. Brock did a good job there. We're, uh, I'm debating how far to take stuff apart and what to do, and I took the cover off that goes in here, and uh, well, let me show you what's under this one. Dirt. So I guess those are all coming off, and that probably means that this piece here is going to come out as well, so we can just get in there a little bit. But, so we're taking those loose. We're gonna pick all this dirt out, kind of use a screwdriver and just push it down for now. And, it. and I'm taking these sprockets off because there's a bunch of crap packed in there as well. This one wasn't as bad as that one. Here's another good reason to take this off. See that orange stuff? That is twine that got caught on the roller and packed in underneath there. That, uh, yeah, that's no good. So, we can get all of that crap out of there. Oh, we got while we got this apart. All right, well, we're getting stuff cleaned up pretty good. We've got all those uh, plates out of here and these covers, all that cleaned up pretty well. They're a lot better than what they were. I also took a wire brush and scratched up the bottom of the auger trough, got a lot of the surface rust off, not all of it, but good enough. Um, yeah, we had a good day, we, we got a lot done. Uh, Brock had to go, he's gotta work tonight, which is fine. Um, but dang, we got a lot done, that's good. So if you remember last week when we brought this in here, I told you we weren't gonna paint. Well, apparently I was wrong, I lied. Um, I really wasn't going to, but uh, it's, it's kind of like once you get it this far apart and this cleaned up, like it takes the same amount of time to put paint on as it would to spray it with the fluid film stuff. So we might as well use paint, make it look good. So I don't know if I'll get to it tomorrow or not, but that is kind of the next step here is getting the floor and everything cleaned up. We'll probably put some paper down and um, get these parts, all the dust off of them. And we're gonna paint it. Uh, we'll just get our paint sprayer, air sprayer, and throw a quick coat on. It won't take very long. It won't be difficult to do. And 
and uh, it'll look nice. So not all of these parts will get it. Obviously those are black, so we might get a can of black spray paint. The plastic parts obviously won't get painted. And then uh, the gears and sprockets and stuff, we won't do those either. But um, yeah, it'll look nice. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, we'll see. So we'll see what we can get done tomorrow, but uh, I'm going home. It's, uh, oh geez, almost six already. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll paint tomorrow. Thanks for watching, have a great night everybody. Hit that like and subscribe buttons for me and uh, 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 comments, questions down below. Tomorrow I'll have an update for you on what I'm finding from YouTube because I want to document some stuff before, before too long here. But anyway, um, yeah, have a great night, see you guys.